In this video we'll go over the control uh, menu items on the eFlex relay panel. Press menu, press the down arrow at the control menu, press enter. Menu items in the control menu include uh, clear memory or reset uh, to factory defaults, DMX loss behavior, uh, relay control, this is just a test, a ramp test, Relay override, uh, device ID settings for FlexNet, and uh, daylight uh, scalar adjustments for primary, secondary daylight zones. To clear memory or reset to factory defaults, you go to the clear memory uh, item, press enter, and then at this prompt, press the select button. The unit will reset to factory defaults and reset the unit. DMX loss, and press enter. There's four options. Option one is normal mode. Um, on DMX loss behavior, uh, all control will return to other inputs that are uh, uh, that can control the same zones that are assigned to DMX. Option two on DMX loss, the unit will go to uh, off for those zones assigned to DMX. Option three, the zones assigned, assigned to uh, DMX will go to 100% full. This is um, normally used with architectural systems. And option four, it will go to preset 18, which allows you to create an edited look uh, that the unit will go to on loss of DMX. The next menu item is uh, relay control. This is just a, uh, a single uh, zone at a time uh, relay test. This is just temporary. So I'll press enter and we can scroll through all the zones, There's four zones for this unit. And just press the select button and the relay go on. Press it again and the relay will go off. Scroll to the next relay. This will also put the 0 to 10 volt outputs at 100%. The next uh, menu item is a ramp test. Press enter. Unit will chase through all the uh, zones on the relay panel. Ramping up each time and just press menu to exit. Uh, any, any relay settings that were uh, being controlled by other inputs will re return back to control to those inputs. The next is relay override and on this this menu item any relays that are overridden they can be overridden to on or off and uh, otherwise released from override control. So once these are set into position, no other inputs can change uh, the settings for the relay. So you can select your zones, control, press select, the relay goes on, the top LED is on. And that means the output is overridden in the on state. Press it again and the relay and 0 to 10 output overridden into the off state. To return control to the inputs or to DMX, press select again, both LEDs are out, and control returns to the other inputs. The next menu item is the device ID, and this is used for uh, FlexNet systems. Press enter, can enter a value from 1 to 100. Up to 100 devices can be on the FlexNet network. And lastly, the uh, Daylight Scaler, uh, which is a primary secondary zone, daylight zone adjustment. What this does is allows one photo cell to control more than one sensor 
and it scales the effect of the photo sensor on any zone that's assigned to the to a daylight sensor so press enter and we can scroll through all the zones on the relay panel so one through four on on this system or one through eight on an eight circuit system press enter you can adjust from zero to 100 percent by default it's set to 100 percent which means any daylight sensor assigned to control this zone which we chose right now is zone one will be 100 percent affected by the scaling of the photo cell so a primary uh, daylight zone would typically have 100 percent uh setting a secondary zone which we want the fixture to provide more light we could reduce that so say we will reduce, reduce uh, the zone to 50 percent effect from the daylight sensor so a primary daylight zone will be affected by a hundred percent so the daylight sensor has full control a secondary zone that's farther away from artificial light, uh, more light will come from the fixture itself.